Welcome to the IT Shed. In this video, we're going to look at CS50's introduction to programming with Python, problem set zero, making faces. Before there were emojis, there were emoticons, like text like a smiley face and a sad face. Nowadays, programs tend to convert emoticons to emojis automatically. So in a file called faces.py, we're to implement a function called convert that accepts a string and returns the same input with any smiley face converted to an emoji. So in the same file, we'll implement a function called main that prompts the user for an input called convert and prints out the result. So we're going to make our directory faces, we're going to cd into faces, and we're going to code faces.py. So here's an example. So hello and an emoticon, and it converts it into an emoji. And then we'll submit it to CS50 for testing. Okay, so I've copied all this over to our file. Just to remind us what we need to do. So we need to implement a function. Remember, it's a function called main that prompts the user for an input. And then convert that input and print the result. So I'm going to start with main. So define main. And I'm not going to give it any arguments. And in main, I'm going to create a variable called greeting. And that is going to take the input, just a blank input. So we have our main function and our variable greeting taking an input from the user. Down here, I'm going to call main. The next thing I'm going to do is convert that input and print the result. So I'm going to define convert and I'm going to give that the argument greeting, the parameters greeting. And up here now in our main I'm going to call convert and also give that greeting. So we defined our main function and we've called it down here. We have a prompt to the user which is saving it in the variable greeting. So we have a new function down here that we haven't filled yet and then we're calling that function up here. So what do we need to do in convert? We need to, as the assignment says, convert an input from the user. So we need to convert an input in the form of hello smiley face to an actual smiley face. So where do we get these smiley faces? Well, I done a quick Google and I found the site emojipedia.org forward slash smileys. So here, if I click on the smiley I want and I can just copy it. So what do I do when I copy it? Well, I need to replace the text that is up here with that smiley face I just copied. So here I have a variable called greeting. Now that variable is storing a string called welcome to the shed. Now I want to replace shed with it shed. So I'm going to use the replace method. So the replace method in Python replaces one word or one variable with another. So I'm going to call greeting dot replace. And in here, I'm going to put what I want to replace, which is shed. And I'm going to put a comma. And I'm going to change it to IT shed. So I'm replacing here shed with IT shed. And I'm going to sign that back to, I can sign it to X. Or I can sign it back to greeting again. Now, if I was to print that. And run it. <clears throat> You'll see here that shed has been replaced with it shed. So it is this dot replace that we need in our program. So here I'm going to do greeting and assign that to greeting dot replace. So what do I want to replace? So first off, I want to replace 
the smiley face. So I'll replace that smiley face. So I put that into inverted commas. And I'm going to put a comma and what do I want to replace it with? So I've searched here and I got a slightly smiling face. So I'm going to copy that, bring it over here and paste it in here. So we're, we're replacing this emoji with that text version of it. And I'm going to wrap the emoji in inverted commas. So I'm going to copy this here. And I'm going to do the same for the sad face. I'm going to change this to sad. So here I've got this slightly frowning face. I'm going to copy that back over to our program and I'm going to replace our smiley face with our slightly frowning face. Okay, the last thing we need to do is print greeting. Okay, before I send it to CS50 for checking, I just want to run over it one more time. We've got our main function that prompts the user for a greeting. So when the user inputs the greeting, it's going to, you're going to see a blank prompt here, inputs the greeting into our variable greeting. We're then within our main function calling our other function convert, and we're giving them the parameter of greeting so they can use that in the function. So in convert function, we're taking the parameter of greeting here from the user, and then we're changing it. So we're replacing either one of these lines is going to be called. So we're replacing that text with smiley with that emoji, smiley emoji. Or if it is the sad face, then we're going to replace it with this emoji here. We're then printing it to the screen. And for all this to actually work, we need to call our function to get everything off the road in the beginning. So we call our main function and that starts the whole program running. So I'm going to test it. So a blank prompt and I'm going to say hello. And I'm going to do a smiley face. And there we have it. Converted. It's replaced using the replace method. So I'm going to try one more time. Sad face. I am sad. And there we have it. Okay, before I let you go, I just want to check it with CS50. And there we have it, all greens. I just want to say, and this relates to all the videos I do, don't be disheartened if you don't get something. Like A lot of this is practice, and it's trial and error, and looking at documentation, and searching Google, and looking at Stack Overflow, and just playing around with it until you get it working, and you gain an understanding of it. And obviously, if there's something that I'm doing wrong in the video, or if there's something you want me to explain, or slow down, or to do it better, then just leave it in the comments below. But other than that, thank you for joining me in this video and I hope to see you in the next one.